Got him. It's a big one. It's a freaking big one. Oh my goodness. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. I'm in Southwest Ohio, fishing the Great Miami River. And I believe the smallmouth will be on beds today. There's a lot of spawning activity going on in the river. It's about that time. It's just at the beginning of May. Water temps are feeling great. But we have some tough conditions today. It's overcast and a little bit windy, which makes bed fishing pretty, pretty tough. But I think it's gonna clear up throughout the day. I think around one o'clock, the clouds are gonna be gone and it's supposed to be sunshine the rest of the day and it's gonna be almost in the 70s. So it's a picture perfect day. It might be tough at first, so we might not have no action in the beginning, but I can still scout around, look for spots where I think there's gonna be beds because the water clarity just quite isn't there yet to really see the fish. But if you're targeting areas that are calm, two feet of water, have some structure, have some riprap, you're probably going to find some beds. So you just got to keep fishing around, keep dunking and dipping your Helgramites, your leeches, your little soft plastic, your little jigs, and see and try to fill around the areas where you're fishing to see if um, there's any bed activity. So we're going to walk the banks today on the Great Miami River. Stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch some smallmouth today, guys. Let's go. Alrighty, we're on the GMR this morning. Here, I'm going to go over my gear real quick. Got my Daiwa Tatula Elite. 100 HSL spooled up in 12 pound fluorocarbon with a Daiwa Kage light jig and Texas rig rod 7-1 medium extra fast. We're going to be throwing obviously the Magma Leech and I got some cool little EWG Neds made from uh, from a subscriber who sent them to me. His name is Jason and uh, he made me some cool little Ned heads so I'm going to try these out today. And I also got my 2500 Daiwa Kage spooled up with 10 pound braid. Down to a 10, uh, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on my Daiwa Kage jerkbait and tubes rod, 610 medium extra fast. I will be tossing the Old Faithful Helgramite on this, on this setup. So let's get started and see if we can't catch anything. So this is a perfect example of what you're looking for when you're bed fishing for smallmouth in a river system. So we have nice slack water and notice we have some large riprap. This provides cover for these bedding fish to get out of danger, to hide during the day, during peak hours where they can really be visible in shallow water. But as you can tell, this is calm water all the way through this little stretch right here. And it's detached from the main current. And it's just like a big pool. This is a textbook spot. And to be honest, there's probably about 10 or 15 beds in this whole area, which is probably about 40 yards by 50 yards long. But yeah, just as this is what you're looking for and what you're trying to do is throw out your soft plastics and since we can't really see the beds, we're just feeling around, throwing where we think beds are and we're just slowly dragging. Don't pop. You want to drag your bait. You want to drag your bait. The fish can hear it and they can and when you're dragging it, let it sit for a few seconds so that if you are in a bed and it sits there, that fish will pick it up and try to spit it out and take it out of its nest. So you want to fish slow and just want to kind of drag your soft baits along the bottom. There we go. Ooh, this one's got cool spots. Oh, chill out, buddy. There we go. I knew there'd be one over here. Awesome fish. That's a 16 plus incher. Right there on the Helgramite. Right there on the Helgramite. Choked it. That one's got cool spots. Check it out. Melanistic spots. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's get this fish off. Put him back over here by his nest. Beautiful fish. Look at the black spots. That's awesome. Pretty sure his nest is literally like right here in front of this boulder. Here you go, buddy. Yep, he, he's literally like right here. That's awesome. All right, that's a great start to the morning. We'll keep prowling the bank, see if we can't catch some more today on beds. 
trying to cast parallel to the bank is also a key factor you want to be there's like a vegetation line right here and it drops off to about a foot and a half to two and a half feet so you want to cast your line parallel with this and kind of be in the strike zone of the beds the bedding area the entire time and that'll increase your chances of running into a fish too There we go. This might be a much bigger fish. Yeah, it is. Huh? Here, buddy. It's a nice, healthy, chunky smally. There we go. Check that out. It's another 15 plus. If you know what you're looking for, you can really have success despite the conditions. Look at that fish, that's a nice one. Let him back, we'll let him go over here near where I hooked up to him. About five yards to my left. Another chunky fish, there you go buddy. So I'm gonna be putting tips throughout this video because it's gonna be a tutorial video. I've been doing this for a while and I think I've got it down to a T and I can really help people get onto some fish. I've helped my cousin on how to bed fish from the bank and it's just he's been really successful. He's caught his PB and I just think it's a good time for people to go out there. You can do it responsibly and do it with the fish's health in mind and we're not taking them away from their nests. We're not hurting these fish. As long as you don't come down here and catch the same fish 10 times in a row or just catch it multiple times in a row for that matter. If you catch it once, let it go. It's going to be okay but another tip is using bright colored braid i love using this because when you're bed fishing you won't necessarily feel the hit you'll see the hit and this braid will get picked up off you'll you'll you won't feel it but the, the fish will pick up your lure and start swimming away from the nest and you'll see your braid just start cruising and that's what happened on these past couple fish didn't necessarily feel it but you see your line moving and if you give yourself like a two and a half foot leader that's plenty enough to where the fish isn't going to be spooked off by your bright bright line, especially in murky conditions like this. There we go. Oh, come here, buddy. <laughs> Another nice, healthy fish. Oh, I shouldn't have flipped him. He's a little bit bigger than to be doing that. <laughs> there we go. Get a good look at him. I don't know. Can you see him in my shadow? It's a healthy 14, 14 and a half incher. Right here in front of me, too. There you go, buddy. Ooh. Thumped it. Oh, come here, buddy. He absolutely crushed the Helgramite. It's a nice little fish right there. There you go, buddy.
we go. This one feels like a giant. It is, is a giant. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is a freaking healthy, chunky, smally. Oh, look down his throat. I don't know if you can see that, but there's crawls down there. Look. See the pinchers? That's insane. Wow. What a fish. That is an absolute unit. Let's put him on the board and see how long he is. All right, let's get him off the hook. Let the board and get a measurement on this absolute bruiser. Probably gonna be 17 plus. Excellent, excellent. River Smalley. Well, we just got another fish Ohio Smalley. 18, just over 18 inches. What a tank. All right, this guy was out in the middle of the area, like right out about 10 or 15 feet but what a tank 18 incher nice long healthy one what a beauty there you go buddy go be a good dad It's a really nice one. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, buddy. Almost fell in the river. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he followed this to the bank. But that is a tank right there. That's a beautiful fish. I love the colors. I love the dark with the red eyes. That's awesome. That is just a beautiful fish. Awesome, awesome. That's 16 and a half. Heck yeah. This, this one's tail isn't too badly beat up. That may or may not be a bed fish to be honest with you. Usually if their tails are all beat up, that means they've been fanning and making beds, so. Let's get a release on this beauty. Chunky, chunky feller. I'll be honest, I don't know if that's on a bed or not. Typically the fins are a little more worn out than that when you're bed fishing, but that's still a beautiful catch. I love the dark ones with the red eyes. That's really cool. Here you go, buddy. Down to the depths. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Little football, huh? Little football. Look at that little thing. <laughs> that's not a football, that's a softball. <laughs> here you go, buddy.
hooked up. Nice chunk. Oh, whoa, 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 Oh shoot. Oh, I'm stuck. Look. I'm like two feet in the muck right now. Um Goodness, I did not expect this. Oh. Whoo! That all went all the way up, almost past my muck boot. Unbelievable. Well, we almost got consumed by the earth. You gotta be careful walking along the riverbanks because little spots like this can go a lot deeper than you think. <laughs> I almost went, my muck boot comes up like 21 inches, so I was almost two feet in the muck. Thank God it wasn't both my feet or I would have been in some trouble. Oh my goodness. Muskrat, what the? Look, at, he's coming up to me. He's swimming in a hole. Uh-oh, he just disappeared under the ground. What? Am I about to get attacked? Must be a den somewhere. That's probably why I fell in over there. It's a bunch of muskrats have hollowed out the bank. This wind is getting pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. The wind would just relax for a couple minutes and be able to hit this spot off this point. Nope, it's not one to relax. Oh my goodness. Almost sent my Helger mine into orbit. What in the heck? Turtle! What are you doing, bro? You trying to eat the Helger mite? Come here. I'll get you off there. Come here, buddy. Hey, don't bite me. I'm trying to save you. Bite this. Oh, goodness. That's some strong jaws. Mighty strong jaws you have there, Mr. Turtle. All right, can you like clamp on this while I get my Helgramite right back? Chill out, bro. Oh, you are much stronger than I thought you were. Oh, put the stick back in his mouth. Ooh, that would hurt so bad. Got him off. All right, go. Go. Never caught a turtle on the Helgramite. That's a first. Here's some more tips and some information. I'm always looking for this situation on the river. Do you see how this is like a circle? It's away from the main current. A nice calm pocket. It's got some depth. It's about two and a half, three feet out here. Almost probably waist deep, to be honest, if we walked out here. And this is prime 
prime smallmouth nesting areas and these are going to be scattered all out all throughout the river in your rivers especially if you got this willow grass kind of stuff they create a hard boundary and an awesome it's an awesome little fish nursery for when the eggs hatch they can come up here and hide in the grasses the fish can protect them from one entrance and they got this whole area it's almost like a gated community <laughs> so to speak but this is a textbook situation that you're looking for on the river It's a good fish. Oh, chill out, buddy. There we go. Nice GMR chunk. Really got them too. That is a healthy fish. Look at that. Just a solid fish. Look, he's as wide as my hand is almost. Awesome fight, buddy. Here you go. Looks like a nice little hole. Might be a fish in this pocket right here. Oh yeah, there's there's a bed there. All right, confirmed. I just seen a small mouth right here on this bed. Let's get a different angle. And try to catch him. This guy might be a little harder to get. Got him. It's a biggin. It's a freaking biggin. Oh my goodness. I knew there would be a fish over here. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, what a freaking unit. Oh my goodness. That's 18 plus. Look at that. Right in the mouth. Oh goodness, I had to do some sneaking on him. I had to kneel down and everything. Woo! We'll get him on the board and let him go. Wow, what a freaking tank. This is probably pushing 19, 18 and a half at least. We'll get him on the board before we let him go. Gotta wet it first. Eighteen three quarter inches, y'all. Eighteen and three quarters. That is an absolute GMR unit. Oh my goodness! Look at that fish. Wow, it's biting me. I'll be ready to go in a second. What a fish to end it on just under 19 inches look at that isn't that beautiful look at the colors here you go buddy right back to your nest over there pretty sure it's like it's only like four feet away there you go let's go alrighty everyone that's gonna bring an end to the video on an absolute unit of a Great Miami River smallmouth, 18 and three quarter inches. Also caught an, an 18 incher before, like an hour or so before that one. Had an incredible, incredible time bed fishing. I hope you were able to take a few things from this video and can apply them to your own rivers throughout the state of Ohio because I'm pretty sure you can use some of the tips and stuff that I talked about in the video to help you find some bed fish in the early spring. And they can be done responsibly just don't go there and just destroy all the fish and catch them a bunch of different times. It's a really an awesome way to get somebody a fish that they can remember for the rest of their life. And that's, that's one of the goals is to go out there and leave an imprint on someone's life because if they develop a care for the resource, our job is successful. Our job is complete 
if we can get people on board to protect our waterways and protect the species that we like chasing after so much. So if you'd like to get some waterlands, you can use code CRAWLER15 on the website, save 15% off all your shades. Polarized shades are extremely, extremely vital and crucial to success when you're bed fishing, looking for smallmouth in shallow flats. I was able to cut, I was able to locate a couple of them today visually, but for the most part, I was pretty much blind fishing, but I knew they were going to be on beds. Some of them, most of them were on beds today. Honestly, 90% of the fish I caught probably were on beds. I caught a couple drifters, I would say, a couple drifters, a couple nice fish. If you'd like to get some Nico baits, you can go to Nico Fishing's website, use code CRAWLER10 for 10% off your entire order for the crawls, winnows, leeches, helgramites, anything you would like on the Nico Fishing website. Or you can go to Vance Outdoors. Hebron, Obets, and Lebanon. All locations should have every color Helgramite in stock. Your leeches as well, your tadpoles, your winnows, and your crawls. So go ahead and pick them up. Support local businesses. It's an awesome thing to do. Go there and support them. It's an awesome community. It's an awesome shop. And the people there are really passionate about what they do at Vance Outdoors. And I'm really, really thankful to be on their team. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!